Hello everybody, you're watching Channel 1, where you join me on this second part of my suspension failure investigation on my Citroen C4 Grand Picasso. Uh, this is completely unedited video footage, just to show you how easy or difficult uh, fault finding on the car actually is. I hope you enjoy. It's arrived! 24 hour postage, great. This is what should help me diagnose the fault with my Citroen C4 Grand Picasso. Uh, I did mean to buy something like this not long after buying the car. Oh, hello. Because uh, I know it is going to be useful. Hmm, quite well. Uh, well packaged. Let's just, uh, but it did seem to be working quite well, so I was in no rush. But yes, as you've seen in my last video, the time has come that I need a little bit of help. So. Here we are. Now let's have a little look see inside here and I will show you what I have got. Ooh. A little box of something. Oh, hello, hello. What do we have in here? Cable, some packing, some packing, and a very nicely bubble wet. New to me, but I'm assured used laptop. In what well, I must say. Looks really good condition. Smart ones out there might have worked out what I have got here. I don't expect that's going to power up right away. So I'm going to have to put it on charge. Let's have a little look in here. This is the important bit. Ooh. Hey. Multi plug and Peugeot Citroen. Hmm. Diagnostic box port. I have another plug for the OBD2 and a multi plug on that. The other end of that multi plug with an ODB port. Some USB to serial port cables and a power cable again from the USB with a little plug on there. I don't quite know how to wire it up yet. This is going to be a learning experience for us all. But yes, for those of you who haven't figured it out, this is sold as, and I fully believe it to be. A complete system for interrogating Citroëns and Peugeots. It is the Lexia software provided on a laptop with all the uh, associated paraphernalia. As I say, to enable you to plug into Citroëns and Peugeots and read the fault codes and do all sorts of diagnostic things that the dealer would normally do. Um, as I say, it helps you reset the clutch which is one of the main reasons why I wanted it making sure you know how much life you've got left and you can recalibrate it because they are a problem on this car yeah suspension I know is a problem but as I say just let you read all the ports that cheapo ODB readers do not let you do I must say it there are cheaper kits available which just provide you with diagnostic box and the leads to plug it in um, 
But you do need your own laptop, you need to get the software and everything else. This is sold as a fully working kit to plug in and read everything you need. And I cannot wait, um, although there's a bit of intrepidation there, uh, to plug it in and find out what is wrong with my air suspension and what other problems I could be looking at with the car or things to be wary of in the future. So here we have it, my big spend. Um, big thanks to the supplier who I will put a link in or detail somewhere uh, because it was really helpful, posted out as I say, 24 hour postage. You can't ask for better than that really. Uh, and I'll just let you know how it works and you can join me on this journey to see how all this software works. So here we are, I've got it plugged in. Uh, there was some battery life in it but I've got it on charge. Already I'm quite impressed with what the seller has done here because as you can see here there is a Diag box manual if you can read it. Uh, a one how to connect interface, a number two how to connect interface and all sorts of Diag box softwares. Uh, from Diabox 7, 9.68 and 9.91 which is the latest for definitely up to 2021 cars, possibly 2022, I, I'm not too sure. Um, but it does seem that despite not having any knowledge about the system at all, um, it looks like they've provided the tools I'm going to need to uh, work through this and see what I'm doing. So we'll have a quick look in the PDF, the dog box manual, we'll see what it says. Oh, here we go, installation, the supervisor, tractable sidebar, tool tab, operations. It looks, yeah, detailed enough that hopefully even someone like myself might be able to work out how to use this. I won't bore you with everything because should you be in need and should you need one and choose to buy this, um, you can read through it all yourself. So I'm just going to try and get to grips with it. I might show you little bits of playing with it. Uh, and then get back once I've actually uh, learned a few things that might be useful to you and then connect it up to the car. But yeah, it certainly seems like uh, it's a good job here um, on how to operate software and what to expect in the event of a problem. I'm sure there won't be any. Well, I've had a look, little look in that uh, dog box manual. It does seem quite comprehensive on what all the buttons do, where they are on the screen and what happens. Um, so next, now just click on this. How to connect. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, right, here we go. It's telling us, choose this option. Which I can't really see. Uh, connect to virtual machine. Hello, sunshine. Is that it? Are there more pages? I don't know. I'm not great with computers anyway. Oops. Oh, here we go. What have I just done? I am on. Uh, I am being recorded for this. Okay, I don't want to in, so... No, you're fine, darling. PSA, you USB device, connect, disconnect, show status bar. Okay, right. 
hey connect to ah oh well actually there is just these two right okay yes photo one photo two okay seems simple enough we'll see if we can get it plugged in and see what happens okay so welcome to my journey i did manage to get it all connected up um, I'm not very computer literate, so I think that was part of the problem. Let's see how self-explanatory this is. Oh, Citroen, here we are, we've got a big list of cars. Citroen, oh, and pictures. C4 Picasso, no, it's not that type. Maybe I've picked two new version of software. Ah, here we go. Citroen C4 Picasso. Beep, 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 beep. Please connect to VCI. What on earth is the VCI? Interesting. Right, so I think I found the problem. I had two of these windows open. I'm hoping this will get me some way further. Here we go, here we go. Still circle flashing, spinning, spinning. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, do you wish to search for new updates? Uh, I'm going to push now because I want to see what happens. Let's see whether we get further this time. See for please. Please connect to VCI. I don't understand. Everything looks plugged in. Close that. Yes. Interface checker. Let's try that. Thing 
this thing. Is happening. So look at that again. Okay, so let's close that, disconnect that, plug it back in. A virtual machine. Ah, there, right, okay. Installing du pilote de peripherique. Blah blah blah. A tick, I presume that's correct now. Right, we'll try again. Only about five minutes into this little bit and got nowhere yet. Jan, how are you? Yeah, good thanks. Yeah, yeah. Tinkering. Suspension playing up. No. This, this is telling me I'm really not clever at all. <laughs> well, I say, can't afford to take it anywhere, so I've got to fiddle myself. Well, that's it, you know. Hello, hello. There we go. If I don't even really stop, please enter a VIN. Ah, right, okay. That's further than we got before. The F7. UA9HZH. Oh, that is my VIN, everybody. Oh, here we go. Um, ah, no, what do I want? I don't know. Maybe not that then. So let's go back. Oh no, back to there. Please don't ask for the VIN again. VF7UA9 HZH Is it 
much I died but Oh, here we go. Right, delivery repair. Fault finding. Right, shall we try that? Then the ignition on. If the vehicle is not triggered, confirm. Oh, we've got Ignition on. And it hasn't actually come up on my dash at the moment that I've got a suspension problem. Okay, it has been a bit intermittent. Oh, here we go, here we go. Look at all these options. Pneumatic suspension. Well, let's get... Ah, there we go, a beep. Oh. What is that? I am seeing... This... Oh, I see. Oh, right, oh, okay, it's going through finding stuff. Right, 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 okay. So, I presume this, as it says, is just checking everything on the vehicle. So far, everything is coming up green. Fifty-five percent. I had no idea there was so much in here for it to check. Certainly quite comprehensive what it's going through. ECU not recognised. Well. Oh, I've got a two there, a five there, a one there. Well. No coherent change of height. Right. C1196 So I'm guessing I'm guessing green means it's checked it And I've got a few faults Looking at these, if I figure it right, unexpected reinitialization fault coming from the BSI, diesel additive pump control. Don't like the sound of that, might be empty. Right, additive system, ah, okay, additive system, accelerator pedal signal, accelerator pedal stiff spot information. Wow, airflow center signal. Right. Okay. Well, ah, I've got them all on video, I suppose, so I don't need to take any screenshots. Um, do I need to Google that code, the C1196? I'm going to have to do that, which means I'm going to need to pause the video. Oh, I can do it on here, I suppose. What is that? Uh, Internet Explorer? How do I get the internet on here? I'm just going to use my phone to 
you know what that needs. Search for web address. I'm just going to use my phone. So, I'm going to pause here. Okay, so you can see here now, uh, suspension fault reading, no fault found. Uh, because I've just erased it. Uh, I will show you how I did that. Uh, let's go back to home. Uh, instead of fault finding, I went on to repair. Got a session open already. Uh, I think there was some in ACU were there. Yes, there we go. Additive system, additive system. Right, so I am going to you just hit on delete there. No, you can't quite see what you can you can just about see. An after sales zone must be completed. Ah well no, oh I won't do that one then. Because I don't really know what I'm doing with that. Airflow sensor, I can't mock up too much with that. Oh! It's getting late in the day, I don't want to have to do that. But effectively that's all I did with the suspension one. Um, hit delete, I had an option to accept to delete the fault, which I have did. I did then get the air suspension to raise, um, which I couldn't do before by using the buttons in the boot. Please. How are you, man? More tinkering. <laughs> French, in it? It's bound to. Oh, See you, mate. Uh, yes, with these. Um, and I have got it going up, but I can't really feel it going down. Uh, I don't want to set it too high. Um, but I feel we're getting somewhere. As I say, it's getting late in the day. Uh, I have my son to consider, so I'm going to knock things off for now. Uh, and pick things up again tomorrow. So there you are, I hope this was of some use to you, uh, it is clearly not the end, if it was do please hit the like button, leave comments on what you think down below, um, and subscribe to the channel if you have one of these cars, or a Honda Jazz, because uh, they're two cars common in my life at the moment, which I'm going to detail all my work on. Um, I think a lot of the problems were my computer ineptitude rather than anything else here um, but the software certainly has seemed to alleviate some of my worries that the ECU or the compressor are completely kaput because uh, as you saw I did get them to work a little bit uh, and I'm just going to continue on with the investigation as soon as I can and I will be uploading them here so Again, thank you very much for watching. Whatever you're doing out there, folks, do take care, stay safe. Peace, everybody.